Moses by Footmon 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Floodmon 14 here. And we're back with more of the white side. I think that's the memory card. Well, doesn't matter if it's the memory card that's in there or not. We're just going to play some Duels of the Roses. I changed my mind. Did the camera angle change? Mm, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, hang on a sec, guys. I'm so sorry. Well, before I change the angle, let's just get into it. I'll click on Taya's duel, and we will... And no, uh, it didn't change. Well, long story short, the camera angle did. Let me put it this way. I, I, in the English, I know where it is now. That's acceptable. And we'll move dark with your head. But yeah, how you guys doing? Uh, back to the Rules of the Roses. Very simple. You know, very easy. Um, again, we have no really set goals here on the white rose side. Uh, just, again, still need a break from the ranking challenge because, boy, ooh, it is frustrating. I have to tell you. I have to, and does, does Taya have this in her default opening hand? Dude, that's literally like, how many duels in a row has she, has this been her, what are the odds? I don't know, maybe she just has three in her deck and, but still, that's, is this game rigged? You know, it's moments like this that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that make me wonder, is Duelist of the Roses you know what I mean? Like, mm, uh, well, let me just put it this way. Overall, I think the house. But yeah, does the, you know, I just, this is an interesting question. Let me mute the volume and uh, come up with my question. But, uh, okay. uh, well, screw it. I'll do it at the battle segment so we get this turn. Ah, will this work? Will this be Mystical Elf? Will it? Yes, it will. Ah. So, if you do Dancing Elf with like a certain low level spellcaster, I don't know if the spellcaster has to be female, but uh, yeah, that will make Mystical Elf, and Mystical Elf has the effects. Yep, powers up own light monsters by 800 points. 20,000. One million dollars. <laughs> oh, sorry. But yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder what this monster is, or is it even a monster? Yeah, uh, Taya does have this trap called Tears of the Mermaid, just to let you guys know. And it, uh, yeah, it's pretty... It's okay, you know what I mean? But I think we'll flip up Mystical Elf here. Yeah, just in case this is a good level monster, so... Moonlight Maiden. Ah! The key mace play. Now see, the reason she did that, when flip face up, everything switches to defense, so... The funny thing about this card is that it's always a safe play if... You're smart enough about how you use it, you know what I mean? But if you're dumb and, you know, have it surrounded by, like, three attack variables, then, yeah. But, honestly, she played it pretty good. I'll give it to her. Ton in there. Uh, if we can, well, let's try to win that card from the slots. Key mace, yeah. If we can. If we cannot, alas, we cannot. And she could have summoned something right here next to her and attacked me here. But I guess Taya's just... Just another display of brilliance from the brilliant game master. Now, what I'm going to do here is obviously win. So, Archery Girl, attack. Emerge from your shell, my little cute Archery Girl, and attack her life points. 
Now, this will win, but I want Key Mace in the graveyard, so let's do this. Now, attack Moonlight Maiden, Lunar Eclipse, Absalon, Venom. Why does everything have Venom? I don't know. Speaking of Venom, <laughs> I heard they kind of came out with a new movie of Venom. I loved the first one. Okay, Lunar Eclipse. I love this attack. Absolute Weave! And that's how you do an attack animation. I love it. Maiden of the Moonlight has one of my most favorite attack animations in the game. Just, the, you know, summoning the moon. How awesome is that? <laughs> yeah, this was one of my all-time favorite cards because it was in my starter deck as well when I started as a kid. But yeah, she's so cool, dude. Just the symbols, and I've always loved the moon, and I've really always been more of a night owl. You know what I mean? I know some people are day day people. Some people are really early risers. But yeah, I've always been a night owl. Always, you know. But it's so weird because like. Night owls and early, you know, early birds, they kind of intersect as far as the uh, schedule change, so. But yeah, let's try to win. Oh, that's good, okay. Let's try to win Key Mace, definitely. But Hourglass of Courage is also very good, so. But I'll try for Key Mace. That's one. No. That's one. No. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so. Definitely want to try for it here. And if I miss, I'll try a little early. That way, if I miss, I'll get Hourglass of Courage. So let's try. Got it. Okay. Well, you know, either way, we got a good card. And I do want... Did I say I want two Hourglass? I think three's a bit much. Because that way you pay 3,000 life points. Yeah. But two? Eh, two's good. Two's good. But yeah, we will save. And I guess, just to mix it up a bit, we'll take on the next person who you can duel. Because honestly, despite his deck costs, the next person you can duel is actually quite stupid and easy to duel. So, um, we'll probably get rid of Ill Witch, just because I don't like the 5 summon level. Yeah, well, but then again... She is good on dark terrain, and most fairies are bad. I see why this is in there. I see why this is in here. Okay, we'll leave her. Fine. Just like Moonlight Maiden. Okay. Um, what should we get rid of for Hourglass? Maybe Fairy Witch? Uh, maybe not. Maybe Kanan? But I like having something good on Meadow, too. But yeah, Kanan... <sighs> This is tough. You know what? I'll start getting rid of this combo. The Queen's Double and the Princess of Sarugi. As a matter of fact, let's get rid of it right now. I'll leave Queen's Double because it's a cheap one star. But yeah, let's get rid of that combo now. Um, oh wait, already have two hourglass. But still, I really don't want that combo in the long run. You know, so let's add Lady of Faith. And one more card. I, I should put in the code for Magician of I meant to look it up before this episode. Yeah, I meant to look it up. Let's add Edebagoo. But I meant to add the code for Magician of Faith. I'll do it in between episodes, guys, because I forgot. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I I just got home. The time is, it's uh, May 22nd, 2021. The time is, looking at my wall clock. Looks like it's... Oh, wait. Our clock's eight minutes fast, so it's 12... 15? I don't know. I've always been bad at telling time at all clocks, but anyway. Who the... You're the one that called the duelist, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me and my... My voice! My voice gives me super sheep! My crab walker strategy! That's right. I'll summon a crab, and then it'll turn into a monkey. He... I like monkeys. <laughs> Your voice changed? That's impossible! <laughs> oh, I love doing a British Christian's voice. Just had to do it for you guys. Just had to show off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but in all seriousness, so. Um, yeah. So this duel 
as you can see on the map here, it's very odd. So this is all normal meadow. For, uh, and I'll keep going over the tiers. But the third row, forest. The fourth row, sea. The fifth row, wasteland. The sixth row, yummy, or darkness. And the seventh row is normal. So the most interesting thing about this field is that, well, it kind of shows a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? There's, well, I'm not, okay, okay, that's a lie. It doesn't show everything, you know what I mean? But it shows quite a, wait, and we got Mystical Elf out of that? Ah, but she is 750. Interesting. Maybe it can be Dancing Elf with any female. It just needs to be below... I'll try some other females that are low cost. Especially the Warriors is what I want to try. Mm. Okay, so it works with Fairy and Spellcaster. Yeah, the Mystical Elf has about 17 different fusion combinations. So I'm going to just have to keep experimenting, but uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Oh, you'll find out. I'm about to summon it. I read my card to the wasteland. My name's Tristan. Oh, I forgot this deck had this. Dude, that is a good card. Um, yeah, I set this face down. Yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster is so good, dude. And I guess I'll move here. But, uh, yeah. Um, I've always liked this duel versus Tristan, and I, let me explain why. At some point, you do need to experiment, you know, with the field types, and I've always felt that this field, it's very, um, I like it, you know what I mean? I like the design, I like everything about it, basically. Um, and it gives you a chance, and Tristan's, okay, let me put it this way, most of Tristan's monsters, ooh, Nice. Good thing I didn't move Dark Witch yet. But yeah, most of Tristan's monsters aren't that powerful. I mean, this is one of the most powerful ones, Deep Sea Shark. But uh, yeah, most of them aren't, you know, too, too powerful. But uh, yeah. Let's see what Deep Sea Shark does. Jaws of Life! And no offense to the animators, but you would think a shark would simply, like, use, like, bite or crunch there. Not, like, firing his laser beam from his head thing, but, uh... <laughs> hey, what do I know? Anyway, time to use Mystical Elf's special ability. <laughs> and that should give Dark Witch the power, barely, to defeat... The Deep Sea Shark. Time for my revenge on you, you flood beast. Now, my dark witch, it's time. Sword to the sky. That's right, lightning trumps water. Now, lightning thunder spear. It's super effective. Okay. Yata. I don't know why I went really epic, but I guess I'm mad that Tristan outsmarted me. <laughs> I like monkeys. But yeah. Oh no! You killed my shark! That's impossible! But yes, yes you fool. I defeat your shark with my Urion the Battle Key. Alright, Tristan. So you know what's funny, right? So Tristan's only played four cards. And one of them was this card here, which is a five star. Now the funny thing is, right? So you start with three stars. I'm gonna do some math for you guys, right? So his first turn he had four stars, so there's no way he played his shark first turn. So what this tells us is that his first turn, he probably played something that was either two stars or a spell card, because like Okay, if he played something that was two stars, like, let's say this is a two-star monster, then he would have had five stars, because you regenerate by three. He set the shark forward, then he would, could have played something, he played this, which is probably a magic card, or, a, or like a one-star, and then he played this. This could either be, like, the max this card could be is 
probably a four star. But I'm thinking this is either both both three stars or like one of them is a spell card. He has to have either they're all weak or he has to have a spell or trap somewhere. So, but yeah, I'll move Harpy's Feather Duster and I will end my turn. Your turn, Tristan. That's your name now. And you say this turn he didn't play anything. So, yeah, he literally couldn't uh, summon with the right. Oh, which of the black. Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Move this forward, move this forward. Now, Mystical Elf is a spellcaster, and I'm glad because she gets to move two here. So that's good. Um. I have a summon level of eight. And I have plenty of life points, so what I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, it does get debuffed. Screw it. I'm gonna move Hourglass of Courage here. And honestly, that should seal us the game. I, I know I might lose some life points, but still. Hopefully he attacks Hourglass first. No, he didn't attack it. Interesting. Dude, he just left me a direct attack. What? Well, yeah, either way, my point still... St well, let me see here. Can I fuse? Yeah, I guess I'll make another Dark Witch here. But, uh, just to... Because what I'm going to do, right, is I'm basically going to throw Hourglass of Courage into his monster. I'm sure this is a monster, but, uh, yeah. So, die. Yes, and it is Leo Gun. Now, behold, it's Leo Bond. Oh no, the digestion are in danger. Let's find out why. Go by our class of courage. Sand sinking tsunami. And that barely tickled Leobon. Now I will summon the Digidestant. Sonic Shock Wave Roar of Time. <laughs> Your little hourglass didn't have the time of day to live. Good one, Tristan. But now, I shall pay my life points. <laughs> it seems we have reached the end. Now, Dark Witch, avenge my hourglass in defeat. Now, I actually want to win this card from Tristan, Warrior of Tradition. It's actually a pretty solid monster. And it's female, so... Fits our deck pretty well, I have to say. Go! Lightning, Thunder, Fang, Spear, Launch! Fire the Torpedo! Paragon 5. Get over. You have been defeated, Lady of Tradition, or Warrior. Is it Lady or Warrior? No, it's Warrior of Tradition, right? The English translation, yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure in the Japanese version, it's the Lady of Tradition. I don't know why they censored that, but yeah, yeah, Konami does some weird things, let me tell you. Anyway, I think I'll attack, because I still haven't moved this, so I'll attack Mystical Elf with the, well, can we win? Perhaps. Oh, yes. And I told you guys, I told you, I knew he had a two-star monster somewhere. I knew it. Go. Mystical Elf, chant your sacred spell and vanquish this heathen from his mortal existence. Defeat the beast of the mirror. Now sing your chant and raise your hand. Always like Miss Squirrel's attack too. It's just it's it's the same as in the show, you know, because in the TV show she's always like chanting and whatnot. It's, it's so cool, it's so cool. Now, is this a spell? I'm gonna test it, right? Kill. Poppy's no Hanaboshi. It is. Yes. And what was it, Tristan? What did you have face down? He. I hate creatures. Well, well, really? This is a great card. Check it out. 
you don't really see Tristan play this card that much. I mean, activate it himself, but here's what it does. All cards in play on the field, with the exception of the leaders, are transported to contrasting, spa contrasting spaces diagonal, a diagonal alley, diagonally, to their current positions. Now, you may be saying, what? What does that even mean? What does it all mean, Basil? Well, let me tell you. What it means is if you play your cards right, you can teleport your cards right in front of their leader and win. Basically, you know. <laughs> also, you can avoid danger. Like, whenever their cards are close to you, play Creature Swap, you can usually get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just trust me on that. But yeah, Creature Swap, it takes some testing to get used to. You know, to, to determine the exact, you know, position your monsters will go. But, yeah, once you use it, like, you know, ten times, you'll, you'll learn. So, but, yeah, with that, you win. We have defeated you, Leomon. I used Anjoamon. What? What happened? My Leomon lost. No. But if you lose the duel, you lose your soul. <laughs> Let me focus here, guys. Hang on. Let me drink, take a drink of this. <laughs> I have too much fun with this, honestly. Wait a Here we go. Yeah, got it. Got it. All right, shall we try for three in a row? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Missed it. Okay, now we just try to get the shark, right? Baby shark, 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 doo -doo -doo -doo. baby shark, 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 doo -doo -doo -doo. baby shark. Yes. Oh, that was so good. That was good. And we got three. Not, I wouldn't say great, but decent cards. Three decent cards. Nice. All right. Oh no! I don't believe it. You beat the crab. <laughs> you beat the crab out of me. Get it? Because I use a crab walker strategy. I like monkeys. I don't know why I keep saying that. Actually, that's a lie. That's a reference to the game basics code. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. Let's edit the deck just slightly. I'll probably take out a fake trap. Put in Warrior of Tradition. Because I really like this card. Yeah. So yeah. No special abilities or anything. But if you check the power-up cards, yeah. Same as ours. Electro Whip, Cyber Shield, Nuzzler. Pretty good. Also, you get Kunai Chain. Now I equip my Roy of Tradition with the Legendary Sword. This gives my girl 300 more points attacking the dance. But, uh, yeah. The monster that's equipped with this sword gains 300 attacking defense points, Kaiba. Yeah, how's that for that Brooklyn Rage? Can't beat my can't beat my poker face. Can't beat my Brooklyn Rage. Now the next duelist we unlock, we won't take her on for a while, is Kujaku Mai. Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret Mai Buford. It was actually is that Yugi's mother? Oh, I'm sorry, is this Henry Tudor's mother? Buford. Margaret Buford. I'm gonna have to Google it, but I think so. And, uh, T. Gray is... Was he, like, a lieutenant? I don't remember. It's been a while since I actually studied the War of the Roses. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I should. Maybe I could teach history while I do this let's play. I could. But a lot of people find history... Boring. And I'm not sure... But I love history. I love it to death, but, uh, yeah, that's just me. Different strokes for different folks, I understand. Um, Moonlight Maiden is here. Let's just do Dark Witch right off the bat, shall we? You know, what? That didn't fuse? Wait, 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 wait. This is a female and a fairy. And this is a female, right? Yeah, why didn't that work? Weird. Oh, well. Wait, does it, to make Dark Witch, do I have to use a fairy or a spellcaster? Well, she is a Dark Witch, so maybe? That's weird. Anyway, she, 
this monster has 500 more, so we could lose, honestly. But let's just move in and attack. See what happens. You'll find out next time. Let's see. Oh, why would you, Anzu? You make no sense. Why would you attack with something that has 2,500 defense? Oh gosh, her AI is so stupid. Sound wave tsunami, ear splitting song of torment. <laughs> Sound distortion. So, fun fact, guys. Did you know that... Speaking of water, right? Did you know that sound is distorted in, um, you know, in high depths of water? And the sound distortion is actually... Was tested and manufactured and we tried to replicate it. And that's basically how they came up with sonar. You know, for submarines and stuff. Fun fact, but... Uh, yeah, sound distortion is actually... It's pretty interesting, right? So my job, right? And, you know, don't talk about your job. I'm here to your man. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, back to what I was saying. My job actually involves high degrees of sound waves. And my point is... What? That didn't work either? Okay, confirmed, guys. Confirmed. The fusion for Dark Witch, you have to have... Either a nice, nice. So Anzu has creature swap too, but yeah. Uh, you, and as you guys saw, it doesn't show up in the, in the slots. So, but uh, because it's too high of a deck cost, its uh, cost is yeah. I think. Can you enter a code for this? No, I think you can get it with a three in a row. But uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? Uh, what was that? Oh, obviously for the Dark Witch Fusion, you have to have either a fairy or a spellcaster. I did not know this. I thought it worked with any two females, as long as one was fairy. But from the looks of what I've done this school, it looks like one does have to be, you know, fairy. You know what I mean? It, basically, the aquas won't fuse, but... I think I'm still going to keep the aquas because getting the boosts on water terrain is good, you know. So, yeah. But that is unfortunate. Um, yeah. And this thing's powered up, too, is the thing. Um, I think we can beat her. I think we can beat her. And here's how. Right? So, I'm going to... I have to set some baits. Okay. I'm going to summon Lunar Queen Elzeum in attack mode like this. Hopefully she moves here. I'm going to leave Harvey further this in defense. And I'm going to switch this to defense as well. That way hopefully she moves here. And next turn I can activate Harpies or move it. And then I will play Warrior of Tradition for 6 stars. Which will be boosted here to 24. So that's the plan. Let's watch. Will she move forward? Do it. Do it, you stupid. Ah, you're done. You are so easy to play, Taya. All according to Kick. Now then, my warrior of tradition, my newly acquired soldier, I'm Tech, her dark witch now. <laughs> and now I'll show you why she's the true warrior of tradition, Taya. <laughs> Shinigami Dance. Souls of the dead rise. Spirits be gone. Go, soul cover. And that's how it's done. Your soul is mine. <gasps> now, my warrior, get your victory. Dance the dance of death. And she looks like Kagura from Inuyasha, doesn't she? Or am I just... Dance of the Dead. Dance of the Dragon. <laughs> anyway, guys. We'll switch this to defense. We're almost at 13 minutes. So I'm actually going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will continue the duel against Taya. And we'll duel for about 20 minutes. We might take on my today. But honestly, guys, I want to make sure... 
I've got the fusions down as good as possible, and I want to enter that code for Mystical Elf. So, I'm going to hit stop, I'm going to look up the code for, Mr. for Magician of Faith, and I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. Have a good day.